Hey, orange one here. Uh, we are at war with both the Sari and the Kuzate right now. I don't know if that was the case in the last episode or not, but we're doing okay. I would like to make peace with the Sari so that we can just kind of finish off the others, but it looks like uh, we're kind of like crushing them. So, eh, you know, <laughs> I think that we're okay. We got a lot of lords here, we got 700 troops, so I think I might uh, see if we can um, we can get some of uh, that city siege that's over here. It's pretty close to us. Sure, we'll buy the horses. Maybe we'll go to Yalmaris first, and then maybe Zionica? Because I want to stay over here this way, and again, ideally, I want to talk to one of them and finish it, but... I mean, things seem to be going our way, so I'm not going to, like, stop attacking uh, the two different factions at the same time. You know? Like, it's it's working for us. Total war. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ooh, look at all that grain. I'll take that, all that. Um, yeah, you don't really have much else, do you? Okay, whatever. Yalmaris, the grain city. Yeah, ideally... I would maybe give this army to someone else and they would lead it and then we could go either recruit lords or make peace. Oh, who are you? Uh, you're following that party. Yeah, see, if I tried to capture that guy, there's no way I would be able to capture him, you know? Um, with my party, even if I disbanded everyone. So it's like the hard thing is, is that now I've gone to this, this strength. Uh, Amitasis. Okay, so that place is being attacked. So we've got, I think, two places being attacked simultaneously, maybe? I'm not sure. I need to look at things. And that might have been the one that was being sieged, and now it's like, oh, it's actually being attacked. You know, that could be what's going on. I suspect that's what's going on. Actually, I haven't played Bannerlord in a while, man. It's been a cool minute. Gilman left? Okay. That's weird. I haven't seen that in a long time. Uh, okay, very strange. Gilman, why would you leave me? You're not, you didn't take anything, did you? Uh, no, that's the wrong Gilman. Wait, plan, Gilman, are they independent? Oh, another mercenaries. Okay, I I got very confused there. That makes sense because they got the mercenary units got the same name. I forgot that the mercenaries um they did that. They'll like make uh they'll give you the cities when they hand them back over. Is there anyone who represents the government here? No. Great. I think if that guy's not their faction, then no one will. Yeah. And here's the other thing, is that they may attack us as we siege this place. That is possible. Before we siege it, I just kind of wanted to look at what we got going on here. Okay, so Gauss is being sieged. Emitatus is being attacked. Anything else that I can see? Not really. Okay. Let's go up to siege this place then. Oh, wait, hold on. They've got a thousand people there. I'm not gonna siege that. <laughs> Whoops. <sighs> that was silly of me. Annika, maybe? Maybe we'll go to this castle and harass them. I mean, they're gonna be mad with me anyways. You know, is the thing. What just happened? Okay, now we've got all another army. Sure. I don't think anyone's leaving me at this point. I think that we've gotten to the point where we're so powerful that like everyone's like, yeah, um, he's won. Just like, let him win. <laughs> yeah, Annika Castle, that's 600. How about Poros? How many people does Poros have in it? Because I might want to just go skip over the castle and go to the city. Probably want to do that, honestly. It's kind of what I'm thinking. That's what I'm leaning towards, at least. But we'll see. 
Let's see how many they got. Oh yeah, definitely worth attacking. Um, apparently someone just became, got taken prisoner. No one's here. Okay, whatever. Then I will gladly attack. We'll see what, what comes our way. Yeah, I don't know, Lan. I, I feel like Vanerlord, I, I just kind of want to finish this game and then I'll take a break from it. And like, I feel like uh, someone was saying, hey, why don't you take a break now? And, and play it later. Well, I kind of want to just do that with a whole new game because like if I'm gonna have new features I want to make sure that they work properly and that for a game like this it's this long and and designed in this fashion um, I'm not gonna update mid playthrough like Cataclysm like you kind of have to update because it's just constantly de being developed like that okay Dirt Hearts rolling around 300 people that's actually kind of scary you could take a city Hello guys. If you want to talk, I'm, I'm down to talk. Okay, we got a new castle. Hooray. Right? Oh gosh, I hate when this happens, so now we're teleported there. Yeah, that should fix me and send me back, right? Apparently Gauss is being raided. Whatever. Just kind of take care of that. Okay, I think, yeah, at this point it's looking pretty good. I think we'll try and take this one by force, and then if lords come by, maybe I'll, I'll tell them that we're cool and that we don't need to fight them. So we can just go attack the, uh, the Kuzate, finish them off. You know, you gotta, you gotta start with the little stacks, those little goals. Like, uh, just like in real life, sometimes, like, you know... The big goals are just too, too intimidating. Uh oh, they took prisoner of some of our one of our armies. That's not good. So we lost a, a battle. Shame. Okay, well at least Pharaoh's picking it up as soon as we put it down. Uh, why don't we just get that going? Nice. Okay. I've been having my second monitor for like live streaming, and like that's where I've got OBS, and I was just looking at like. Uh, okay, yeah, these guys are going to attack, and then I think I'm going to just peace out of here. Uh, should I? I mean, I can... yeah. We're going to peace out of here. Can I? No? Okay. Yeah, let's make peace, guys. We don't need to be killing each other. That's... yeah. We're cool. We're fine. Um... Okay. Oh no, are they gonna be bugged out? Okay, I think we're good. Uh. Oh no, I might bug the game out. Uh, that's so annoying. Okay, well let's load the auto save. I think it was right before, right? Isn't that what usually happens? Ugh, I really don't want to have to redo that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I need to deliver my demands. I mean, I know that this isn't going to fix anything. Let me go! Yeah, this is really annoying. Okay, well, I'm gonna probably get to this point and then I'll have you guys join back up with this. Just give me a little while. It's gonna take me some time. Okay, well, it took like half of my money, but we're at peace with them. And I really don't care because uh, we have uh, Kuzates that we need to crush. And we actually took a number of castles like pretty recently. I think that a little bit more time passed. Um, I haven't, as you can tell, got my army with me anymore. So we're gonna have a little bit of a hard time assaulting places, but I think we might be able to chase down like some lords. And um, yeah, now Harang, Harang? I don't know. He's gathering us an army. Oh my gosh, we get 15k a day. That's amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Those units are not amazing. That was pretty wildly bad. Um, yeah, let's take all those horses, I think, basically. 
Can I? Oh yeah, you can just do that. Right? No? Never mind. That's a shame. Oh! No, if you carry it all the way over, it does let you do that. Okay. Cool. Well, I just discovered something after playing this game for a while. Um, that's nice. And sure, we'll take the grain and the fish. Thanks for the fish. So we'll take all of it, you know? They're gonna get this place by sieging it. I don't want them to get any, any resources. And the nice thing about this is that we'll be good for a while now, actually. That's a ton of stuff. I just paid them so much cash. That's absurd. I need to get some of that back. We we have, like, so much stuff, and I just gave them all that money, so they'll be able to afford it, I think, right? Nope. Never mind. They cannot afford it. I uh, reset that, then. Oh my gosh. You got some really nice cracked gear here, man. This is pretty nuts, okay. What if I did that? Yeah, that's everything. Well, I guess we'll have to hold on to things a little bit more then. Wait, hold on, what? I thought I said... Keep this stuff. Let's have this go down a little bit further then. Because it does look like we have quite a bit of stuff. Right? So. Maybe something like that? Jeez. It still wants to give me everything. Can I at least get, like, cows and sheep and stuff? Yeah, I can. Yeah, it's... I, I'm, I'm just gonna do it. Just because I don't want to micromanage everything. Yeah, that should help us out considerably. Um, so here's the deal. Is I kind of want this territory in here. So if we can get, like, up in there... That's what I would like to do, because they've got some really good units. Bring an army, the race to take castle, where is that? I honestly have no idea where that even is. Oh, Linder, you really are not my homie. Maybe I should make you my, my friend. Tog, okay, let's give the Togs some, some influence. Those of you who are actually still watching this, uh. What do you guys think of the game of Bannerlord? What are your thoughts on it? I'm just curious. Do you like it in general? I mean, I would assume you do if you're watching this, but... Like, what about the game do you like? Okay, so we did lose an army there. That's a shame. So we don't actually have too many armies out. It's uh, gonna make things a little bit difficult. Mm, and I don't have much influence to amass my own thing, unfortunately. I could go for it. These cities, I mean, that is like kind of like what would make sense to go for, but then these are kind of really nice as well. You know? It's your quest. Sure. I'll take your troops. I think I can have like just about 300 or something at this point, so I'll take your 10. Thank you. You're gonna hate me after I don't complete that quest, but I just need bodies. <laughs> Uh, it looks like I got more upgrades, yeah. Yeah, I think that we've got a very elite, if you look at our troop composition, like a very elite fighting force here. And we actually are getting more horses, so we're actually getting quicker, so we should be able to chase most enemies down there of comparable size at this point. Unless they're Kuzate themselves, basically. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, do I want to attack Onira? Oneer I think I want to go for Chikland, because I think that that actually is culturally... Um... Guse, isn't it? Don't think we can check to see what the culture is here, unfortunately. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna harass them deep in, in their territory and slash get units that we can recruit from our places here. And that should actually, I think, make us faster, right? Okay, these are Imperial recruits. 
I'm pretty sure that like these other places are not. I'm pretty sure that they're more uh more of the Qz units, which is kind of like what I've been going to war for. Up here. Yeah, I like this one. I mean Camshar, I'm not sure what that is, but I bet that's Imperial. If these are Imperial, you know. But this I feel like is more planes, you know? And we've got this this in the other city. Oh, do I have the personal thing? I did level up something recently. And I got like a perk point. No, it doesn't look like there's anything there. I think it was leadership that I, I got up to the next tier. Just because we have such massive parties, the game's like, okay, I have to give you that. <laughs> right? That's the thing I think that with the leadership, <laughs> the leadership skill is that it doesn't scale too well. It's pretty easy to just like get very high leadership skills when you have a crazy big army. Okay, so we do have a Kuze unit there. I deliver her to my Zaya. I really don't want to. Just like not really appropriate for a king. <laughs> you know. Oh, there's a really good comedy sketch that I saw where they were talking about that. Uh, like Alan Bannerlord. Uh, I forgot the name of them, but they do a lot of like video game skit comedy. And uh, they were doing like the thing where like you have to do quests for this lord and you're like, wait, but you're defending your village with all these people. Why can't I recruit them? <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. See, we uh, got all these Qz8 units. They're kind of crummy Qz8 units, but whatever. Some of them will turn into uh, horse archers. Actually, I should probably see about getting some of our cash sold. Or get some of our cash from here, seeing how we're kind of low. Um, let's go with weapons. Maybe hold on to a few more of the weapons. Yeah, that actually wasn't so bad. Wait, hold on, what? I thought we designated that as... whatever. Okay, I'm fine with that. Yeah, you can take the bonus. Enjoy. Okay, I'm just curious. If I try and take this castle, I think I might just try and uh, be a nasty so-and-so up here. Kind of pull some of them away from the front. Uh, do Could I get, like, who's, who's nearby? Yeah. Oh, man, there's, like, nobody nearby. <laughs> Okay, well, at least I'll pull away people from the places we're actually seriously sieging, right? I was also thinking that I could just go after the, the main lord cities, because I think that that is an effective way of really weakening the king, and then the king can't, like, do nearly as much themselves, but I think we're just going to chip away at them from around the edges that will get the horses. I want to get horse archers, man. I want more horse archers. So it's all about, you know? Hey, Borobos likes us more. I have no idea who that is. I think he's in one of our settlements. I just tried to move the camera with Q and E, and I was like, why is it not working? And I realized that, oh wait, that's Kenshi. <laughs> I was just talking about that in my Unreal uh, World episode. Is like, there's so many games with slightly different controls. But they're like familiar enough for you to slip up and think one is for another one, you know? But different enough where it doesn't work. <laughs> Man, I gotta execute that guy still. Our lord. The one that like took all that cash right at the beginning from us and then just never really did anything. Okay, so that is good. I just, I need to keep an eye on our surroundings because we could get cornered here really easily. You know? I don't think we will, honestly. Because I think other armies should form. I think they're getting units right now or something. I'm not really sure why they're not attacking currently. Maybe there's one mega super army or something like that. Because there was like all those lords that were preoccupied. Oh no. Um, yeah, cancel that then. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I'm curious if I look at my armies. Oh, there's tons of armies, actually. Yeah. 
I can and Prela shovels. Is that where I'm at? No. Okay. Sounds good to me then. If we're hitting them at four different places at once, five different places at once, they shouldn't be able to defend us. We've just gotten to the point where we're just so powerful that I think that we'll be able to just kind of steamroll them. Peric. Man, Peric seems to always be on the opposite end of the war from me. No matter where where I am. <laughs> I think he was like in the Vlandian uh, war when we crushed them. I'm not sure about after that. Oop, hold on. Okay. Oh nice, we got a horse archer. Already won from our, our little noob party. Oh, there's so many of them here. I think I can get one more recruit. Is that it? Two more recruits. Okay. Um, oh, look. This dude's one of the higher up units. Cool. It looks like we're starting to be able to get those guys. That's something I have interesting. Okay. Once this is up, we'll start actually taking the walls out. And it shouldn't take too long. I think with these guys distracted and pulled away from the other armies, it's not going to take us too much force to, <laughs> to really win. I mean, we could actually just la latch on to one of the NPC armies and go with them and it'd be fine, you know? I'm also a little bit worried about the Asari just declaring war on us because that's what happened, I think, last time. So they might just decide out of nowhere to go back to war against us. I don't really have the cash to stop that, you know? So, we'll see. Okay, uh... Oh, who's eight people just got taken prisoner, so it, did they take a city? Kind of looks like they might have taken a city, but I'm not sure. Should I just attack? I think maybe I might want to just attack. I'll, I'll wait just a little bit longer. Let's just take out that turret at the very least. Yeah, we're gonna break the walls. Let's just break the walls. Okay, if I can fell. Oh, it's the city. Nice. Baron, you can take it. It sounds like your name. Congratulations. I think Pharaon actually used to work for them. I'm not sure. No, actually Leopides. He's he's been with us for a while now. Let's get this last one down. Okay. We'll lead the assault. This is like this should be a pretty quick battle. We've got like Oh, actually, hold on, I didn't get our extra prisoners. Whatever, it's fine. It'll be fine. I'll deposit some of them when we're done with this castle. We'll put it in the walls. Well, this is like super gray and foggy, you know? It's weird how like fog in games now, when I see it, I just think like they're cheaping out on the graphics, like they don't want to draw things, you know? <laughs> Even though I know that's not the case with Banner. Looks pretty good though with the fires. In the lighting. I think we just need to get to the part where it's a little bit more lit up. You know? I've seen that, like, uh, people talking about lighting, and that, like, the dynamic lighting stuff actually makes your things look really dull when they're in the shade, and I can totally see that right now. It's like, the textures just don't look that good. Because it's all dark. And it hasn't got the light to illuminate all of what's going on. Okay, we do have a lot of people dying here. Maybe we will, uh be able to <laughs> recruit all of our, our people. Okay, there's a lo whole lot of them right there. Let's see if I can get a couple of them. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, I'm getting hit now. I need to be careful, because that, that could have been a headshot. Definitely could have been a headshot. Oh, man, they are destroying us. Holy cow. But we do have a lot more than them, so I think that we're, we're still okay. It's just not ideal. But you guys are just picking us off, huh? I think at the other gate, it's probably what's happening too, but there's only so many of them. And as you can see, we're actually starting to get a good kill-death ratio. Not to mention we have something probably going on the gate, which is gonna fall soon. Okay, these guys are... Yeah, the day is lost. You guys are totally done. 
Calradia is lost. <laughs> if oh jeez, oh my gosh, do I have like one health? I've got like one health right now. I swear, I've got like one health. Oh jeez. <laughs> no. Well, that was a shameful way to go. <laughs> At least we took the castle. Oh man, they took a, a lot of us out though. I gotta hand it to them. They fought valiantly. To the end. Um, okay, yeah, we'll take all the prisoners. Yeah, I think we'll be able to recruit everyone that was wanting to join the party. I think I lost a lot of nomads. <laughs> there are a lot of them are really badly hurt. Cool, cool. Well, the merchant company is doing pretty well, wouldn't you say? Got so many upgrades. So insane. Only one of you. Okay, but a lot of those borrowed troops died. <laughs> the person's not going to be happy that hired me for that job. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good, right? You're over your uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll just put them in the castle. Yep, that's good. Let's see, so yeah, just wait here for a little bit. How are you doing, Company of Trouble? Let me see what I can do about that. Ah, uh, really? Okay, well, if you don't like me, oh what? You do like me, that's weird. Super bizarre that he won't let me take that quest, even though it looks like I should be able to. Okay, I'll just kind of let things keep on rolling. We should get the thing asking us who we want to give this castle to pretty soon. Right? Any second now. Is it mine mine? No, it's not. Okay. It always just seems to take so long when you, you take it yourself, you know? Okay, so that's Catalids now. Cool. And she is very powerful. Like, very, very powerful. Okay, yeah, you guys can put some troops in there. Okay. And we'll we'll go off somewhere. I don't know. It's probably good that we healed in the castle walls there for a little bit because we are pretty banged up actually. Oh, and our prisoner count limit went way up because people actually I think recovered from their injuries or something. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. But we need to be careful because that place only has 23 defenders right now, so it could easily get uh, taken out. What's with the bandit base? Yeah, that's a whole lot of bandits. Sorry. <laughs> um, do I want to let these guys go? Yeah, let's let them go. They they lost a lot of troops trying to take this place. They got some crummy guys, unfortunately. And I think I'm just going to kind of hang out a little bit around here. I don't know, maybe actually put some people in there myself. Let's do that. Go to donating troops. Uh, and then I wish there was a sort by like tier thing. I bet there's a mod for that, huh? <laughs> what if I did like, what if I got rid of some of the borrowed troops? <laughs> I think the game doesn't really understand that. And they just keep track of how many are in your party. So I think that that'll work. We'll exploity. I don't want to keep the Kuzate no Nomads for myself. You know, they're horse archers. They're going to be really good. You can take five of my, my soldiers. I'll wait here a little bit. Make sure this place doesn't get raided. I think other people should come and drop troops off here. Yeah, looks like that's what you're doing. Okay, I'm gonna head out then. I think that we're pretty good then. Oh, jeez, no! <laughs> oh god. Well, I don't know what to do here. Uh, make peace, maybe. 
I mean, I don't want to lose all my troops. That's the thing. That was a silly misclick. Um, Rome should make peace. Eh, sure. <laughs> so we're at peace with both of our enemy nations. So we should be able to develop up a little bit more and then attack the Kuzate. I think we should probably just straight up attack them. But they are going to take that castle, so maybe it's good. It kind of worked out that way. We'll just get ourselves a little bit more power, powerful and we'll do another push soon. And at the very minimum, we have them down. And then, ah, the Kuse actually are pretty strong. Or the Asari are pretty strong. And make sure this guy gets taken out. I mean, I could actually, it probably won't be the worst idea to just continue to push and uh, continue the war against them. I think we only got like that castle and maybe one other castle or something from that war. Okay. I'm going to end this here though. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.